Hey, and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this tutorial, we're going to be continuing with our sort of basic lighting and continuing with these portraits sort of setup. Um, we're still only going to be using one sort of light. Um, it's really important that you really master how to use just one light before throwing as many in because then it starts to get a bit confusing. So we're going to continue with this broad, um, these um, portrait shots, um, just using one light. And yeah, we're just going to go through all this sort of reference. So you can sort of, hopefully by the time you've done all these, you'll be, be able to understand quite a lot of basic lighting. So I'm not going to go on. It's going to be a quick intro. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this little series. Um, yeah, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more like this. So I've got my uh, Maya open. Um, I've opened up my previous shot. So um, if you haven't got this, um, you can just download this all in the description. It's all free. You can get the bust, plinth, um, the, the backdrop and all that sort of stuff and the camera. Like you get everything you see here and you don't have to be using Maya. You can be pretty much using any 3D software. Um, I just use Maya because it's just what I've been using for quite a long time. Cool. So in our previous one, we did this uh, Rembrandt uh, broad with the single uh, light and in the one before that we did short. So you can sort of see the difference between these is that you've got the short, which is kind of short lit. We're not kind of half half, we're slightly over. We've got some more on the cheek. The broad is it's self explanatory. We've got a broad lit sort of subject. So now in this one, we're probably gonna go on to the simplest one to light and that's just like a split. And this shouldn't take very long at all. It's literally just split down the middle, almost 50-50 in the face. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to do this one. It's probably going to be a very quick tutorial, but I, I just want to go through all of it because there are still things we still have to look at. Even though it's a split, we still do have to worry about how our shadows are sort of casting. So it's not just as simple, as, but it is just as simple as putting a light halfway there, but um, we'll see how it goes. Cool. So for this one, I'm actually just going to rotate my bus so he is actually... He's never really looking forward, but I'm just going to put his nose uh, pointing forward. I'm just going to go to my perspective. And I'm just going to go to Arnold, lights, area light. And I can bring this up. And like I'll, I'll say it every time, like remember when you, you can scale it up to see it, but remember when you scale it, you are affecting how the light works. So I know this statue is at the origin, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply uh, rotate this around 180. And just line this up. We can look for our lights, but it's probably not really needed. Um, we'll go to our render cam and we'll just open up our render view. Very simple setup. We're just almost putting it 90 degrees to the face. Let me just pull my uh, render view over. And probably the same thing has happened. It won't show much because our intensity is probably not enough. So like I say, you can use your intensity, which will be as Kelvin or your exposure. And from our previous one, so if we just do it in, in steps, so it would be five, eight. Still not seeing it. Ten. Cool. Now we're starting to see our subject. It's probably because we're slightly further away. Our light is, sorry. So if we just go 12, you can see we're almost pre pretty much. I'm going to get 13.5 for this. Because if you look at this, it's we're quite... We're very... Even though it's very dark, we can still see some... Something here. This is almost very, very, very black. So it might not just be a case of being exactly 90 degrees to it. Even though it, and it's probably also the shape of the head. So I am just going to bring it slightly off. See it around. And see how it's not really changing much of our 50 50 split, but we have actually added a tiny more bit of light 
to there. So I'm just going to take a snapshot of that. Just going to move it slightly round. It could possibly be because. So now we're starting to go into more of a, the short sort of lighting to see where our we don't really have a visible nose cast, so we've definitely gone too far. And I know you're probably saying just stick it 90 degrees to the face, but if you want to get that real sort of split, we're kind of not, we are, well, when we look at it, we kind of ask probably just the position of the head. And this is probably the simplest one to do. And we can even bring up our Exposure to 14, so we're not completely dark, maybe even 14.2, just a slight amount. And all I'm going to do is ooh, reduce my spread. Let's pause this, it's not really liking me play at the same time. So you can see how our spread is effectively now just affecting the intensity of everything and sort of the bounce. So obviously that's a bit too much. Oh no, we're changing our exposure, sorry. Oops. So I'm actually going to go up to 15, I think. Cool. And what we can sort of see here, we even though we do have 50 50, understand there's a quite a dark shadow cast on the eye. Obviously, ours is not the same. But what we've got here, we've got a rather large nose cast here, which we definitely don't want. So let's see if we can reduce this. Uh, maybe my samples are silly high. Yeah, okay, so let's go put that back to two. Cool, I'm just going to pull this back. So we're seeing less of the nose cast. You can see that we've got both on the, the filtrum, on the top of the lip. We can see both of the, the humps. And we've got the sort of shadow cast in here. It's like it's basically a 50-50 split, but not super, super sort of dark. We don't want it too bright, but we want to make sure it's a prominent 50-50. Bring down our spread to make it a little bit tighter. I say it's going to be a really, really quick tutorial. We're practically almost done. So I'm just going to bring it up. I want my nose to sort of. I want it to disappear. This highlight here. I don't want that. So. Just gonna move it around so the nose shadow is covering up this highlight here, so we get like a nicer 50-50. That's sort of covering that up now. And when we look here, we go straight down the nose, a little bit over the eyebrow here. That's not gonna be exactly the same, um, because it's just a different person, but we can get it pretty close. Cool, and I'm pretty happy with that. I think that we're pretty much there on the 50-50, or the split, sorry. We're not in complete darkness here. We have got some some slight light here, and we're not too harsh. That line down the center of the nose is just the scan line. So that's just on there. Oops, press F. Yeah, so we've got the 
the split sort of look. So yeah, we're pretty much done. Um, we'll render off a high-res version of this, but yeah, a very, very quick tutorial. Well, still about 10 minutes, but anyway. Um, then the next one we'll start bringing in to split with fill, which we're bringing in our second light. So this will be pretty much most of the single lights. There are a few other ones, but we'll just go through them one by one. But yeah, quickest tutorial ever. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, um, and it's been quick, um, yeah, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.